Gordon and Spencer sat side by side at the big station. Twenty wheels is the best number of wheels. What? Twenty wheels, Gordon, that's the best number of wheels an engine can have. Did I even ask you? Well, no, but I could see it in your eyes. You clearly thought that your number was best. My number? <laughs> Spencer, we have the same number of wheels. Oh, dear. Has no one told you? So, so you're telling me they just hitched that thing to you 40 years ago and no one told you? <sighs> Gordon had forgotten that he had had a fouler tender for the last 40 years, which of course only has six wheels. Spencer was utterly oozing with pride with his eight-wheel tender with a corridor through the middle. I have an eight-wheel tender with a corridor through the middle, he said, being rather redundant. <sighs> Spencer, I do not need a corridor tender. I don't do non-stop runs between London and Edinburgh, much as I wish I would. Well, I have done plenty of them in my day before I retired in luxury, and then... And then what came to our little island? You seem to hate it here, and yet you are constantly, constantly coming over here. What is that about? Spencer all of a sudden blushed and decided to change the subject rapidly. Twenty wheels, Gordon, twenty wheels. <laughs> and you're still running out of water constantly. You've got double the cap- uh, 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 but, but I- you've got double my capacity. And yet, I never run out. What's that about? Uh, well, well, I, um, uh, I know what it's about. It's the fact that you are such a smug jerk that Victor refuses to serve you at Crovin's Gate, so you can't stop there. I know that's what it is. He told me. Victor would never turn anyone away, Gordon. Oh, he turns you away. I believe he once said you take up a lot of track. And you know it's true. About an extra axle's worth. <laughs> well, I... Suddenly they heard laughter from the other side of the station. <laughs> All right. I must say, I don't usually like to indulge Gordon's shenanigans, but that was good. Thank you, Doc. See? He understands something. Understands something? Are, are, you, are you implying that I'm somehow naive? Oh, here we go. Now it's a three-engine dispute. No, no, we are still both firmly against you, Spencer. I I'm just wondering what Gordon's saying over there. Ah, uh, nothing, Duck. I need you on my side for this one. Ah, Spencer. Good to see you. Ah, hello, Sir Topham. Here to compliment me on my extra axle? <clears throat> um, no, actually. Uh, you're to report to the works soon. <laughs> for what purpose? Well, uh, I've agreed to do some work for the uh, Duke and Duchess of Boxford. They want to have a, uh, a modification made to you, and I told them that my workshops would do it. I, of course, had to convince Victor for three or four hours, but he finally agreed. Well, well what modification, sir? I've already got a double chimney, I've got streamlining, I've got a uh, corridor tender, Spencer, which I'm afraid has got to go. <laughs> Are you kidding me? In the middle of this whole conversation. Oh, that is impressive. Sir, your timing couldn't be better. Did you hear this whole thing from inside your office? No, actually I had it soundproofed rather recently. Uh, but I, I assume you were to... Never mind what they were talking about, sir. They haven't won an argument or anything. I, you can't take away my corridor tender. What are you going to give me? Not a six-wheeler. Oh, well, actually, uh, Duke and Duchess have run into money troubles. Uh, they're thinking a uh, four-wheeler. Of... Oh, Oh, God, a four-wheeler. I can't even... So you'll have fewer wheels than me, is that... Is that it? I, I can't. I won't. Well, then, Spencer, you'd better get going. The works is waiting for you. <laughs> and he ran off miserably. Both Gordon and Duck guffawed. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> but, sir, a four-wheeler? Do we even have any four-wheel tenders? No, of course not. He's going in for routine maintenance. <laughs> Wait, so you really think I'd soundproof my office? Of course not. I need to hear what tomfoolery is going on out here. I mean, for God's sake, half the time, the only reason I know anything's wrong is because I've heard a crash or a bunch of whistles. 
I suppose that makes sense. <sighs> well then, sir, I am impressed. Yes, well, I've got more of a sense of humor than my father had, some might say. Carry on, you two. And he went back to his office to make the arrangements for Spencer's totally normal overhaul. Of course, Spencer wouldn't get there. He had forgot to take on water in his fright and had run out on Gordon's Hill.